Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos. Today we got a video on making a dress. What type of dress you ask? Well, let me show you. For those of you who have been here for, has it been a year? Yes, almost a year. I made this dress last summer. It is this beautiful voluminous circle skirt dress with this beautiful banded neckline area. She's a hit, people love her. However, I think we can make something a little more sassier. And I've basically seen like the dress I made around all over the place but just with like a bodycon skirt which I just think is a lot sassier and I like that we're not gonna do that exactly but similar we're gonna kind of meet in the middle between the two styles so I've decided to redo my dress basically it has that same banded top but I'm gonna lower the bands a little bit so it's not as covered all the way up here it's gonna be more down here they say band lower the neckline a little bit second thing I'm gonna do I'm going to obviously make it not a circle skirt but instead of bodycon I want it to be more like A-line so it's not completely tight against your thighs Like I want you to be able to walk around and have that little A-line shape So you kind of look like an hourglass, you know Also, I'm gonna plan on making a slit in mine Slit is totally optional though You don't need a slit, you could do a double slit, whatever you want So yeah, I'm gonna start off though from just working from this pattern And we're gonna give it a go Okay, let's alter the pattern You're doing a good job I'm doing a good job Mm-hmm I like cutting. I feel like I'm in grade school again. Look at him go, you guys. Watch this, watch this. I feel like I'm gonna get judged for the way I'm cutting this right now. Okay, so here is our pattern so far. Everyone give a warm round of applause or snaps to Cody Nance for putting it together for us. Here's the deal. Basically, the only thing I did to the bodice was lower um, the front neckline to give it a little extra oomph for the girls in the front. I also, since this is a strapless design, made it a little bit tighter across the, sh the chest so it wouldn't fall down um, because we want it to be like really tight right up in here. But other than that, that's the only change I made to the bodice from the other pattern. Oh, and if you wanna just like drape this yourself, you just drape it on the dress form. Create a very simple like princess strapless design if you want to drape it on your own dress form here's a little sneak peek of the next design i'm working on but if you guys want to learn a little bit more about draping i will link a video on the top of the screen and down below <laughs> to get this skirt i basically just worked from a basic skirt block and i made all of these lengths match up to these lengths so that the vertical seam lines wouldn't be at different spots on the top and the bottom so these all match up perfectly and then i also just flared out the bottom a little bit to account for more of an a-line design to get this this is a little bit more tricky basically you have to pretend that you're sewing up the pattern pieces so let's pretend sew these up it's not gonna be perfect all right so you got to pretend that the bodice is sewn where the band is going to be so this is where the band is going to be and then i basically kind of just like traced out what the top of the neckline would look like and then made the neckband the size that I wanted. Perfection, how cute is that? Yeah, so very simple. I cut out the pieces for the muslin. Now let's sew it up on my sewing machine. All right guys, just cutting out all of my pattern pieces using my muslin fabric. People always ask um, what fabric I'm using for prototypes. It's just muslin. It's basically cotton, the cheapest fabric you can get at Joann's. Um, this is what basically everyone uses for prototypes. Um, and I usually like to save my prototypes after, and if the pieces are big enough, I just reuse the fabric from a prototype for another one if you want to conserve. Here's my little trick I always do. I always lay my patterns out, like, in order before I start sewing, just so I can stay nice and organized, because these pieces, like, all look the same. If I did not stay organized, I'd have the front skirt at the back skirt and things flipped every which way so i love doing that and i go piece by piece and keep everything nice and organized so you guys should definitely do that especially if you find yourself making mistakes like that all the time it's my holy grail for real for real all right yes as you can see there are oodles of issues with this one and i'm not going to turn around don't ask me to because i didn't pin it up all the way because it <laughs> was pretty tight and my butt is out. Anyways, here's prototype number one. So at first glance, we can just call out some issues. Come on, let me hear you say them. 
Did you say it's way too tight around the hips, especially because we wanted A-line and not Bodycon. To be honest, it probably wouldn't be too tight around the hips if I recommended like a fabric with some stretch so it could be nice and bodycon around the body, but that's not what we want. We want the but not super. Just a little to give that hourglass shape, you know? Too tight around here. Too tight around here. Not tight enough around here, like it could fall down the strapless. Plus, this right here is too loose. Like it wasn't patterned super well, but also it could be an issue with the cutting because I accidentally cut this piece that right here out too wide. I had to take it in the center. So now there's too much fabric here. So that's probably it. But as you can see, this is not sitting nice and flat. It should be sitting like this. It should not be sitting with the space in between like that. Also, definitely we would want to lengthen this because this is before it's hemmed and it's quite, quite short. So I'm going to lengthen it probably by like an inch and a half or an inch. Yeah. But yeah, I think round two will definitely go more swimmingly. So let's go ahead and sew the prototype, the second prototype. Off we go. Y'all, I'm trying my best to get this second prototype done. Well, I am gonna get the second prototype done, but I'm trying to get all the prototypes done today because I would love for this pattern to be out by the end of the week. That is just not realistic. It's gonna take like a week or two more than this week. But sometimes I like to give myself unrealistic goals so that I push myself harder. You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise that would take me a month or something to get this pattern out. So we're gonna keep on keeping on with the unrealistic goals. Probably we'll have to do a third prototype because the first prototype was just so far off base in terms of fit, like it was way too tight and I want the skirt silhouette to be a little bit different. So good morning y'all, here we go. There we go. Round of applause for prototype two because this is much better. All right, so we've made our adjustments. We have a little bit over adjusted in some places, but let's talk about it. So the top, fabulous. Right here, fabulous. It's not pinned up like all the way, so it's this part is a little loose, but it's fine. Bodice, fabulous. Skirt, mm, not quite fabulous. It is a little large. We overcorrected a little bit. However, I want to point out the hemline. Can you see the hemline? I love the way it's like a little bit loose on the hemline. Like that's perfect. That's what we want. We don't want it skin tight. We want it a little bit A-line. The only issue is it's a little bit too, um, there's too much fabric right around the top of the hip area. So we just need to take some of that out. But basically that's the only adjustment we need to make. So this is going to be my last prototype because that's quite an easy adjustment. I'm just going to take quarter inch, quarter inch basically on on each side front and back so what is that one inch total it's a lot adds up it adds up but yeah i'm also gonna probably make it like a half inch longer because this is gonna be an inch shorter when i hem it and i don't want it to be too much shorter than this so yeah i'm gonna go make the pattern and i will see you guys later okay guys we're on our way to go get the fabric and i'm excited because this is now turned into a two-in-one project what two in one you say well so you know how we're doing the dress yes i was like what if we took the bodice off and then lowered the front into like that little like u-shape hemline to make the top a corset so then we could have a completely different corset design still with that pretty like strapless neckline and then a dress so the pattern is going to be for both the dress and the corset for the price of one one so i'm gonna get the materials for both of those projects let's go so i went over to joanne fabrics i love going there for last minute things because they usually have some good stuff at first i was like mm, denim cheetah girls cheetah world but then i was like that's kind of tacky i found a bunch of other denims that i liked this like pattern is super versatile so like you could use tons of different fabric with it and it would work ideally i wanted to find a pinstripe also look how cute this pink vegetable dyed denim is okay slay but ideally i wanted a pinstripe but i just couldn't find any freaking pinstripes anywhere i was getting desperate so i was literally in joann's for over two hours just looking dumbfoundedly at all the fabrics i'm having a crisis i don't know what to do help okay look at this so i have two options the first option that i was going to check out with was this twill sportswear it doesn't really have any stretch it has like some give to it which is nice and it's thick which i really like although i did not just want a plain white dress i thought that would be boring so i thought what if i got 
some color to dye the band at the top so it's like a white dress with a colored band at the top and then i dip dyed the dress with that color so it was like ombre like i thought that would be really cool but then i found this cherry fabric and i'm obsessed with cherries right now and so i was like okay perfect i'll just go with that this is a cotton so it's really easy to sew but it has stretch to it which i love and then i found this matching red to use for the band at the neckline but then i was like oh no there are princess seams down the dress so wherever the seams are the cherries aren't going to match up because the pattern i don't know so then it's gonna look like not the best because the seams are gonna cause the cherries to be cut off but then i was like oh no it's fine this is so busy like you won't even notice but like you will so then i was like okay let me get some bias tape just to like put over the princess seams add like a little pop of white and then you won't be able to tell where the cherries cut off but then i was like oh no how am i supposed to add this bias tape where the slit is because i want to have a slit on the dress so i don't really know what to do i also got this to line the corset top hello loves hello welcome back from joanne fabrics to be honest this is me from the future hello and i did actually already finish the dress um so i'm just working on the pattern right now so that will be out to you very very shortly here so stay tuned make sure you are subscribed and have the notification bell oh by the way this is not the end of the video I have more things to show you, but <laughs> do make sure you're subscribed with the notification bells turned on because for those of you who know, I give out a discount the first couple of days that I launch a pattern. It's a pretty hefty discount. So I did decide to use the cherries and the red for the dress and it turned out swimmingly. I will not be giving you a preview because I'm mean, but I have not made the corset yet. I'm going to make that tomorrow, but I've decided to use this cute little leather pleather. Sorry. It's the Spice Pleather by Ember. Love this color. How cute is this? It's gonna look gorge. Um, and then it's gonna have a little dip down corset situation in the front. Yeah, I'm super excited to make this. Oh, it's gonna look so good. And it's gonna look so different from the dress. Like just what fabric can do can just completely change your look. So I'm super excited to use that. Oh, you're gonna die. This is gonna be my new favorite top. Absolutely. And by the way, the dress I just made, definitely my new favorite dress. I don't think there's much else to say other than make sure you are subscribed. Anyways, yeah, do you guys like my outfit though? My outfit is so cute. It's so cute. If you like seeing outfit styling videos, make sure you check my YouTube shorts because I always put my styling videos on there. Also my TikTok and Instagram. But also feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonello. Also, if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up because it's the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you stick around for the actual sewing tutorial and pattern that's coming out very shortly. But I will see you guys next time. I love you so much. Bye!